Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I'm back with another fashion show. Okay, so this time around the subject of our review today or our fashion show today is this um, Satina DS uh, PH200M, a Swiss made watch. Uh, this is a an on loan from a bro, Mr. Uh, Imran. So I've bought, not I've bought, <laughs> I've borrowed from him two pieces. This Satina DS200 uh, PH200M uh, and also the uh, NTH Sub Barracuda. Okay, so I've done a full review for this particular piece and please check out that full review if you want to see what my full thoughts about it. And of course, I will add a card maybe on top of here and but for this time around let's check out what are the strap options that we can have for this watch okay so before we start that we should do a quick swatch check today i am wearing my orient ray 2 on this um elastico strap from love watch strap a i think this gray color looks really nice on this blue sunburst blue dial of the orient ray 2 okay so i've, I've done both the review for this orient ray 2 and also these straps so please check out the, my video reviews okay so let's start with strap number one or straps number one basically this is another love watch strap this is i can't really remember what uh Gerald called this strap I think it was called uh you know what I can't remember but this is a very very nice seat belt seat belt style strap as you can see here it features this super thin about 1.5 millimeters thin uh seat belt style strap with these circular holes and with the, the what the unique thing about uh the unique thing about life watch strap is this and here they cut it like so and of course this this uh, portion here is designed so that when you wear it, it's this this buckle is under the under your wrist, not at the side of the wrist. Okay, so of course we have a floating keeper here, and we have a fixed keeper here, and yeah, this black is so shiny. It gives this black and white, basically black and white and red color theme of the Satina looks much much more luxurious okay so let's of course they uh they don't they don't only have this color they all they also have the the um quite a lot of variation of colors in their website now so there is a bond color as well but i think this black the busy dial of this of the satina needs something that is much much more simpler so i've picked this one over the bond right so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist so let's take this one out all right so let's see okay I'm trying to do this on camera guys all right so please bear with me so you can see the thing that I like about this love watch strap is that when you put it first is of course the positioning of the buckle under your wrist and the second keeper which is adjustable so you can of course uh, tuck back tuck it back in like so but I don't really want to do that what I prefer to do is just slide it slide it to the top so when you see the strap from the top you can see that it stops just right on my wrist like so so this is a very very cool and simple design from uh, love watch straps okay so let's go to strap number two which is from the maker who started it all so this is from blue shark watch strap or is it blue shark straps.com so um uh, this time around, I this time around I choose this uh, silver color with this red very very bright red uh color here they, I think they call it they call this colorway samurai I can't really remember but of course this is from the premier was it alpha shark premier line can't remember but yeah still uh very very nice uh, similar thickness as the ones from love watch strap but this time around it doesn't have that you know the, the similar design to here to to the love watch strap but still it, it features this floating keeper and the one fixed keeper here and of course we have a signed blue shark buckle here and of course it's a bit yeah it's a bit thick maybe mm, about 1.3 plus 1.3 maybe about 2.6 um, uh, thickness added to the watch it is a you know this satina is quite a big watch already about 43 millimeters in diameter so yeah it gives a bit of height to this to the to the watch when you wear it but it's not really that bad right okay so when you put it on the wrist you can see that 
this one is not that bad but yeah still check that out yeah i think the color plays really nice with this uh, monochromatic black and white color scheme of the satina and that red on the second hand plays really nice with this blue shark uh, red color right so yeah that looks really awesome guys of course they have another colors as well so you have this great not great uh, vintage bonero uh, colorway but yeah i think i've used this quite a lot already so let's see something different this time around right okay so let's go to strap number three which is this super stretchy um strap from vario singapore right so I love this super stretchy strap because this is a single pass, not the usual, not something like this. But yeah, I think it gives it a lot of that vintage look to it. So we have a circular pattern holes here and the material is very, very nice. Super, super stretchy, very, very comfortable. Uh, and yeah, we have a sign vario buckle here and this because this is a single piece single pass strap so you don't really add too much height to the watch itself so yeah so yeah let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist and yes of course this green color adds that military vibe to it so yeah you can i don't know i just love these things i just love this super super stretchy strap so of course yes when you wear a single pass strap you will notice you will have a quite a thin uh you can see that it's not it doesn't really add any weight any height to the watch and yeah it's really thin and it's really comfortable and yep you can always choose to tuck it in but i choose to let it go like that so yeah i think that looks awesome on this watch right so let's go to strap number four which is this strap this super cool french paratrooper style nato strap or, or is it stretchy strap from uh, aliexpress but before that i should mention that the this stretchy strap from Vario Singapore also came in this uh, black color whereby we have this uh, red um, straight line in the middle. I think it looks just nice for this watch but yeah I choose to use the green one but it fits just similar as similar as as great as the green color and but this one this time around we have this you know what the traditional style uh, we, where we have this one um, one thick one piece of material here and we just have a loop so that when you put it on your wrist you have to loop this hook to this side of the strap and then boom you are good to go so this one i i prefer this one as well because you can easily adjust it on the go so as you can see here it's a bit too tight on my wrist so i just have to just have to stretch that thing out and adjust it back and boom yes it you just make it much much easier to to use so definitely indefinitely adjustable so it counters i think this is one of the best design ever uh, made for the strap so you don't really have to find holes that uh, fits your wrist so i think this is a you know what a brilliant design or, or as a watch strap okay so yeah i think that's good so of course we have quite tons of color available on aliexpress right now so we can have this uh, green and red we can have those green and yellow and yeah many many colors available now on the market and this thing is not that expensive but yeah it's a cool alternative to the real thing but yeah you know what some people just say i'm just gonna say dude these are fakes but you know what i don't care i just think they are good enough okay so let's go to strap number five which is this cool a tweet strap harris tweet strap from vario singapore again so i i think vario is well known for this for making this super duper cool strap i think there's nobody in the market right now doing the similar thing as vario but yeah you can see that this is quite a peculiar thing to begin with yeah who would who would have think to put a wool on your wrist right so again we have this uh, vario signature down here and we have that harris tweed mark here, insignia here and we have of course this floating keeper here and we have a nice a polish buckle here a sign polish sign buckle with a the vario name there okay so i think it complements the black color dial of the watch really nice and yeah 
yeah man this thing looks awesome on this uh, on this Harris tweet strap oops I hit the camera let's see if I can if I can do this on camera guys on camera yeah that's this of course I've done a review for this particular strap a long long time ago so it's quite difficult to find a hole because you can't really see them but yeah you just you you, you can you could find it easy after that you know after after a while okay so let's check it out of course this strap is a bit too small for my liking I wish it they could have uh, they 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 be a touch bit uh, maybe uh, an inch longer but yeah you can see that those wools <laughs> is quite thick down there but still a very very nice option if you want something different right something different on the market yeah right so let's go to strap number six which is this super cool silicone strap from cheapestnatalstraps.com so you can see that we have lots of holes down here for you know what of ease a, a, a ventilation purposes i think but this thing looks like it uh, makes it looks like a really style strap i can't remember but there is no sign buckle here it's just a normal polish buckle here but still it gives that vintage vibe that this watch is basically you know they made they made this watch because they want to you know what they just want to do a homage to their own design in the past so i can't remember when was the fin when was when did satina release this their their old watch but still yeah i think it looks awesome on this uh silicone strap so we have those patterns and holes it makes it looks like a cool racing watch of that maybe 70s or 70s era right so yeah i think that looks cool right so let's go to strap numbers this time around it is the borealis natural rubber strap which mimics the looks of the um, isoprene rubber strap but that one will cost you about a hundred bucks this one is about 28.5 or is it well i think when i bought it it was it cost me about 25 bucks but still my favorite rubber strap if i ever wanted to go diving right so this is a very very cool strap so you can see at the back here we have a uh a rips here so that it won't um wobble around during when you wear it but and then the because the quite there's quite a lot of holes here and it is being posted the pitch is being uh, close together so it's easy for you to get a uh, nice fit when you use it on your wrist okay so let's see this strap yeah the it's it you know what if you have even if you have a big eight inches wrist no problem because there's quite a lot of holes to be had and yeah i think this is one of the best budget um rubber natural rubber strap that you could find on the market today but if you want to have something that has that vanilla smell nope you're not gonna get it but still i don't really care about the smell i just care about the comfort of the strap so check that out i think that looks awesome guys right so yeah i think that looks awesome okay so let's go to strap number eight which is the super cool sail cloth strap from i want a strap.com again another company in singapore yes our neighbor singapore right so i just love this one this material is fully waterproof so you use it you wait you, you just uh, you wear it in the rain you wash it when you use it when you have a shower or you can, can bring it to the sea whatever after that just wash it off and wipe it off and you are good to go the strap is back and uh, back <laughs> i mean just it's just really easy to use this one so just wipe it wipe the water and then and then you're good so there's no watery or that uh, damp feeling whatsoever when you use it when you after you after you wipe it so that is why for me if i ever wanted to use something that looks sporty and really really waterproof this is the strap that the strap that i choose okay so yeah that is really really cool so they've recently upgraded this material or this strap to a version 2 where you can find a um a cool uh, as a uh, quick release pins but mine is the version one so it doesn't have those quick release pins but still it is a good product nonetheless okay so let's go to strap number nine which is my favorite leather strap on the planet <laughs> okay so this is the collared venezia so yes i've been featuring this strap like a whole lot 
Do you, uh, you know, every time I have a cool watch, I just wanted to pair it with this leather strap because I think the brown color complements any dial, any color of dial, may, may, may be it blue, red, or green, or of course this black, it plays really, really nice. And of course the, um, the, the, you know what, this the surface of this, the texture, not the texture, but the surface of this brown, brown color, it just comes to life and I think it gets even better when you use it and yeah you can't really you can't really you can't really fake these things guys so this real leather Italian leather is just really really nice and soft to feel okay so of course we have the Colare Roma signed here at the back and of course we have this Vera Pelle made in Italy right so one of the most expensive straps that I have in my collection but still it's totally money worth it right totally worth the money okay so let's just check that out on this satina uh the sph 200m i think that looks awesome in my opinion all right so let's go to strap number 10 which is this i think it was called rusty rusty brown or is it rusted brown from cheapestnatalstraps.com yes it looks a bit cheap but the pattern i mean the the theme of the strap which looks like a rally strap i think plays really nice with this uh, satina it gives that of course a vintage vibe to it of course we have this um uh, you know a typical very thin uh, polish buckle here nothing fancy here but i think the theme or the 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 design of this rally style strap really matches the uh, the uh, vintage aesthetic of the satina and yes of course let's just put it on the wrist to see how it looks and of course we have a fixed keeper down here and we have a floating keeper here and you can use it and you can use it like that all right so that for me looks awesome it just brings the watch closer to my my quite a small wrist so this is again a 43 millimeters uh, wrist uh, a 30, 43 millimeters watch guys so it's kind of big but i could still pull it off right so yeah let's just check that out okay so i think this um all in all i think that this satina ds uh, ph200 is a really really good uh, watch for the money for is uh, for the money i think this one costs about five to six hundred bucks and yeah you can't really beat it but still it's just way too big for me so for that reason uh it's not for me but yeah it's a nice option if you guys have a bigger wrist than mine maybe seven or seven and a half inches inches so yeah i think this will suit you guys better than me okay so if you guys like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more future reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you have another uh, option or another strap that you think much it is much much more suitable to this watch please go ahead and give me a suggestion in the comment section down below okay so until next time i'll see you soon bye bye